Welcome back to Strong's Little Farmhouse. If you're new here, we bought a 101 year old farmhouse, which we are going to renovate and restore. We're doing it by ourselves, on a budget, and with absolutely no first-hand knowledge. Should be fun. <laughs> anyway, we ha are working on our barn. We're two old fat people <laughs> trying to do this by ourselves. And you know, it's going to take a little longer, but so far so good. We are technically ready to put down rebar and pour the concrete. However, I had this bright idea that maybe we need a bathroom in the barn. I know, would have been good if I thought of it before we got this far, but better now than after concrete and rebar. That would have been a big mess. So that's what we're doing today. And hopefully everything's gonna go without a hitch. Seems unlikely, but we're gonna try. Come join us. That's what we're going to do today is we are going to mark out on the gravel with spray paint and my floor plan for where that toilet's gonna go. We have to actually dig out a tunnel under the form uh, to, put, to lay some four inch pipe for the future toilet and water line. Well, it's a good thing we got those lines marked out first thing this morning, because as you can see, it has started raining again. As soon as this rain clears up, we'll get right back at it and pick up where we left off. Our next step on the pad is actually to lay the rebar and pour, but we are now digging out for plumbing. We may or may not ever put the plumbing in, but it's always good. If we ever sell this property, then somebody else also has the ability to do it down the road. So it just makes good common sense to put that capability in now. We roughed out a kind of a rough floor plan of what might be a mother-in-law house with a small kitchen, small bathroom, and a bedroom. So we have a good idea of where to put the plumbing. In case you're wondering, this isn't dressed like a pirate day. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it, we're in July in Texas. It is hot and it's muggy and these are to keep us from sweating so much that we can't see. We look like crying. It's so hot. Yeah, but that doesn't stop us from talking like a pirate. Arr. Arr. <laughs> Actually, we're down south, so it's yar. Yar. <laughs> <laughs> All right, matey, let's just go and dig a hole. Oh, stop. <laughs> <laughs> so here is Mark digging out. <laughs> where will essentially be, let's say, a bathroom. So, you see our marks on the ground? There's a sink, a vanity. That's where the toilet is going, right there. And then a possible tub, and if it should need its own water heater, or it could be a closet. So, just depends on what somebody in the future wants to do. Over here would be a small little kitchen stove, sink, closet for a washer dryer, and then right along here, this corner would be the front door. And that also leaves two nice size, kind of smallish, it's not so small, this is, would be a 12 by 12 bedroom with closet and a small eight by 12 small bedroom or office. So that's sort of the idea. We are gonna put a couple of these walls in just for support of the building, but otherwise we're just uh, putting in the basics. Right, Mark? What we could do is we could really get back to nature and just leave this as a trench, like a latrine, you know, like the, old, the Vikings used to do. and just had it flow out of the house. <laughs> no. OK, 
Okay, it's late in the day and we spent all morning digging out this ginormous hole in order to lay the sewer pipe and the water lines to the barn. The good news is I don't think we have to dig anything out. I think it, it's almost straight across, so the pipe's going to come straight up. That's good. Okay. All right. I'm going to move Perfect. this for now. All right. Get it out of my way. Okay. And then you can either hold the pipe down and I'll measure, or I'll hold the pipe down and you measure. All right. Let's discuss. <laughs> you want me to hold that? Uh, not for now. I'm just gonna dab this two part glue and stuff in. It's a pretty color. It's purple. It smells like the uh, the wrestling mats that we had in high school. We had brand new wrestling mats. They were probably coated with chemical stuff that was, was cancer causing. Probably. Yeah, it was after all the uh, the 70s, the late 70s. I think you're gonna have to pull that bottom closer to you, but you can get the glue on. I see what you're saying. Yeah. It doesn't have to be really close. Okay. Okay. All right, glue in the T part in. This is the line for an upstairs bathroom should someone want one because we're putting in a, a small loft is that down tight yep okay that's gonna go right there because yeah, we want a little little space for uh concrete to, to get in around it yeah all right so this is what we got done last night we got the sewer line in for the toilets this is going to be the downstairs toilet it's going to sit right there and then this goes up in the wall for the upstairs toilet should there be one and then the line comes out it just got too hot and too late in the day yesterday so we called that a day and now mark is measuring for the two inch pipe that is going to be for the <laughs> for the gray water coming out coming up. Did you get him? He's gonna jump out. Oh, let's see. Oh, look at the cute frog. Okay. Now okay. I can go. Bye frog. Bye frog. Go eat bugs. Anyway. Please. Mosquitoes. Uh, as I was saying, <laughs> squirrel. <laughs> no, frog. Frog. In the fresh water, we're gonna tie into the fresh water in the house, come underground up into here to provide fresh water for this building. That's the plan. We'll see Should if Should it, it all work out. Should it all work out. And not today. That won't happen today. No, that's, that's way, not gonna happen today. Way down the road. Way, way down. Way down. Way the down the road. <laughs> In fact, it's so far down the road, it may never happen. May but never happen. Anyway, so I'm gonna go cut some pipe. Okay. So we're gonna fill in that hole, and Mark is now shoveling the dirt that we dumped over here four days ago. <laughs> Oh my gosh, how many times do you think we've moved that four cubic feet of dirt? Too many. We piled it up from the ground with the bulldozer, or the front end loader. Then we moved it around to flatten it out inside the pad. Then we realized it was too high, so we had to dig it out and dump it over here. And now we're taking it back to fill that hole. Well, at least we got the dirt to work with. That's true, we didn't have to buy dirt. <laughs> Nobody wants to buy dirt. Okay. 
good job, babes. 